Nou, in hierdie onstuimige tye, en ons weet wat het verander in Zimbabwe, maar vrijdag 24 november, van 12 tot 4, het uh, die parlement uitgeboek, Parlement Prayer Day, um, en dit is een initiatief met uh, kerkleers oor alle kerkgrense en kleergrense heen, wat in die parlement gaan bid vir die land, en uh, ons het nou vir uh, Reverend Moss Nkla op die lijn, hy is Reverend and Chairman South African Christian Leadership Initiative. Good morning, Reverend. Good morning, you know, and good morning, uh, your listeners. And thank and you, advice. thank you for getting up so early. But I, 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 you've probably been praying for two hours already. <laughs> Just, I could say yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep on praying after this. Um, very interesting. Why? Why is a gathering like Friday important for our country? And we've seen things, you know, just changed in Zimbabwe. Um, um, what's your thoughts on that? And then why the prayer day on Friday? Yes, we. I think many many of us have been praying for Zimbabwe, and uh, we believe that um, God, in His own way, is uh, turning the page in Zimbabwe and opening a new possibility. And we um, on on Friday we have gathered a number of Christian leaders from across the country, all racial backgrounds. The idea really being that. Um, uh, we see Parliament as the highest seat of authority in our country, where we could stand and bring and bring our prayers to the highest authority in the universe, in, in heaven. And in that way, we 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 invite all Christians to across the country to join with us on Friday, uh, wherever they are, um, in that hour. But about three hundred of us will gather in Parliament uh, on Friday afternoon. And and trying to motivate the people as well, um, because uh, you guys are going to be in Parliament, but the whole country can pray with. Um, your main aim with this, is it is it for change in South Africa? I know we're struggling with corruption, we're struggling with crime. What is the main aim? Um, three things really are, are driving us. The one is that... Um, as you've rightly said, our levels of corruptions are uh, are huge, and uh, we use language like state capture, for example, which says we've re reached unprecedented levels of of state uh, corruption. And in that sense, our prayer is for God to raise godly leadership. So it's a proactive and positive way of saying, Lord, uh, we'd like to see the emergence in our country of godly leadership, leadership that is that has integrity. And secondly, we'd like uh, to see um, <clears throat> a, a new vision and a new hope in our country. Uh, I think at this stage, most South Africans are despondent, are without hope, and they, they, they feel that we are on a downward, sp uh, downward spiral with the economy doing what it is, uh, with the farm matters, um, going on and all of the conflicts that we see in different parts of our country, the poverty, the unemployment, all of these are, are things that we want to bring before God to say, um, according to uh, First Chronicles 7.14, if my people gather, and that's what we will be doing, to gather, to repent of our, of our sins, and to seek the Lord for, for a new uh, chapter in South African uh, in the South African story. Thank you so much, Reverend, um, and all of the best for Friday. I think it's a fantastic initiative. Thanks a lot, and we we thank you for for helping to publish this. Great stuff. Please you. Bye bye. And it was Reverend Moos Nklaan, as you meer informatie soek, dit is Parliament Prayer Day, en dit is 24 november van 12 tot 4. Um, ek dink is een geweldige goeie initiatief. 